Hello and Assalamu alaikum. This is Salman Masood. In this video, I will tell you that how to download and install SQL Server 2017 on your machine. So, first of all, just go to the Google Chrome and uh, search for download SQL Server 2017. And just click this option. I am willing to download an Express Web Edition. You just have to write uh, SQL Server 2017 Express Edition on Google and just click on the first link. It will move you on this page uh, and I will provide you this link in my description box. And then you have to click this download button and you will get an exe file in your download folder. So I have already downloaded this exe file, so I'm just going to open this. After clicking this, you will get this pop-up message that you want to download uh, allow uh, this app to make changes on your PC. Yes. And after that, you will get this uh, form, SQL Server 2017 Express Edition. And here he is ask, it is asking you to install, uh, choose one of these three options, which are basic, custom, download media. So I am going for an easy option that is basic. So just click it, and hope it will work properly. And then just click this accept button. So this is the place where SQL Server is going to install. Okay. And I'm just going to press this install button and it is downloading and installing the package. So you have patience and wait. Okay guys, so it has reached now on this stage. stage you will just have to click just click on this install accept and then find uh, the version of SQL Server that is 14.0 so it is fine now it's time to install SSMS SQL Server Management Studio so I'm going to Google Chrome and this is the official website I will provide this link and description box and just click on this link download SQL Server Management Studio so you will see it is downloading an exe file which will take some time so I am going to pause this video again See that all your specified component has been installed successfully. So you click close. Click the start button and then type SSMS. Now you will find this 
icon that is representing that SQL server is successfully installed. Just click it. Now you can see a pop-up message that SQL Server Management Studio is loading user settings. This may take a few minutes. You just have to have some patience. Then it is about to ready to use. Okay, finally we are here. The first pop-up window will look like this. So I have installed this on Windows Authentication. If you want to run your SQL Server on SQL Server Authentication, then you just have to check this. And I didn't, uh, I didn't set login password or password, username or password. So I will have to make a user role, which I will tell you in my later video session. So if I click connect, it will not work. It will give me an error. Uh, so I will make a user and will connect it as a authentication SQL Server authentication uh, so now I will just select Windows authentication and connect and it will surely work in the next video I will tell you that how to make user user role on in SQL Server so it is time to check whether it is working or not so I just click new query file <coughs> the first master database is already here so I'm going to write the query select all from system tables from spelling Yes, it is proper video. So, hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. In the next video, I will tell you that how to make user role in SQL Server 2017.